In the summer of 2006, Sheffield United were celebrating promotion to the Premier League after years of playoff heartbreak and misery. Neil Warnock's side finished second and earned the right to finally play at the top table of English football. The club spent around £7 million on players and managed to keep a hold of their stars from the championship as Warnock finally took his club to where they felt they belonged. United struggled initially, not winning any of their first six games but picked up as the season wore on. Big wins came away at Newcastle and at home against Arsenal and Spurs as United staged largely outside of the relegation zone after Christmas. West Ham, on the other hand, were in their second season back in the Premier League, but were enduring a rather difficult time compared to the previous year. The club shocked the footballing world on deadline day in August 2006, when they welcomed Argentinian stars Carlos Tevez and Javier Mascherano in a double deal. But neither player could help the team move up the table. Manager Alan Pardew was dismissed in December, with the team wallowing towards the bottom of the table. After losing 4-3 against Spurs in March, the Hammers looked doomed, having not won a Premier League game since December. But an upturn in form and a new boss, Alan Kirbishley, inspired by Tevez, saw West Ham win 7 of their last 9 Premier League games en route to survival. The final day saw Sheffield United needing just a draw against Wigan to survive, while West Ham had to win at Old Trafford to stay up. West Ham won their game thanks to a Carlos Tevez goal, while Sheffield United fell to defeat against Wigan at Bramall Lane. That meant that Warnock's side were relegated, while West Ham and Wigan both survived. The controversy though was already bubbling under before we got to the final day of the season, with West Ham being investigated for their signings of Tevez and Mascherano. On March 2nd, West Ham were charged by the Premier League for breaching two rules in relation to their purchases of the Argentinians. Rule B13 stated that in all matters and transactions relating to the league, each club shall behave towards each other club and the league with the utmost good faith. They also breach Rule U18, which states no club shall enter into a contract which enables any other party to that contract to acquire the ability materially to influence its policies or the performance of its teams in league matches or in any other competitions. On April 4th, 2007, the Premier League appointed a three-man panel to investigate the signings. And on April 27th, West Ham were fined a Premier League record £5.5 million, but were spared a points deduction after pleading guilty to breaking Premier League rules. Tevez could have saw his registration terminated, but was allowed to play West Ham's remaining fixtures. On May 13th, 2007, the Hammer survived on the final day with Tevez grabbing the only goal, his seventh in West Ham's final 10 games. On May 16th, Sheffield United filed arbitration proceedings against the Premier League within three days of the final day of the season, in a bid to overturn the decision not to deduct points from West Ham, but an arbitration panel dismissed their claims over the Tevez affair. The two clubs then eventually settled their dispute in March 2009, putting an end to the matter that had rumbled on over the course of the next two seasons. For Sheffield United, it is difficult not to feel sympathy with them, but the reality is that they only had to avoid defeat against Wigan Athletic to survive, and they couldn't do it. Warnock said of the saga last year, The West Ham Carlos Tevez saga was such an injustice. I'm certain had Sheffield United illegally fielded a player, we'd have been docked points. It still sticks in the throat. For West Ham, it is of course fortunate that they avoided a deduction, especially since the Premier League deducted Middlesbrough points in 1996-97, which resulted in their relegation for failing to fulfil its fixture due to squad illness.